Hey guys. Okay, I'm back uh, as promised. Sorry, I'm just going to pull this up so I can see the comments in front of me instead of having to turn my head all the time. Okay, I think my volume's off. Okay, so last week we made this very cute layout these two eight and a half by 11s and I promised you guys I would come back and we'd redo them and there's gonna be a sketch. So the sketch is all ready to go and it's ready to download. So if you just comment in this video sketch, I'll send you the link after the video, but we're gonna recreate the sketch with Daisy Meadow paper or collection parts and pieces. Um, so I grabbed a whole pile of stuff. I did pre-cut my pieces off the sketch just to double check it. Um, but, so we're gonna create these two eight and a half by 11 pages today. And, hello, I see some people are popping on. Okay, you got it. So I think I'm gonna get my all-purpose mask because I think we're gonna do something fun here with the white daisy background. So I think on this one, if I remember correctly, I splattered it with Lagoon. This time we're gonna do something different. I've got some, so I wanna do that first. So I have, I grabbed my peach ink and I'm gonna just, I was trying to decide if I would distress it or if I'm gonna just dip my paper in the actual ink. So, uh, well, let's go with what we're gonna do first. I'll try and see if I'll just add some ink on. If it's not enough color, then maybe I'll just put some on my all-purpose mat and dip it. So these are the blending tools. And so I've started to, like I have one for each of the distressing oxides, but for our regular inks, I haven't, I don't have them all going yet. And actually I should probably make my table bigger. Um, but so I just pull off the top and I keep them in a little um, coin envelope. There we go. So this is just like from Staples and their coin envelopes. I don't know that anybody actually keeps coins in them anymore, but I like to this idea of the paper versus throwing them inside like a piece of plastic, like a plastic bag or um, the coin um, binder things. Sorry, oh no, that's not gonna work. I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, so I just keep them in a little envelope and I write the ink color on them and uh, that's all I do. Okay, so I just wanted, like I didn't want a ton of color. I just want the two corners. So I'm gonna do each of the corners on the two sides, but you know what, I think I want more than this. So we're going, you know what, Facebook is being so funny. There's some sort of update happening. And so it's notifying me that <laughs> Sharice is watching on two, four, six different devices. Isn't that bizarre? Okay, so I just put a little bit of the peach on my mat because that's, I want a little bit more than that. So I'm just going to, ah, that's what I want. Okay, so then I just sprayed my ink with a little bit of water. Okay, I want that like, look like it's a little bit of splattered paint. I want kind of that messy look because the paper is like the collection is kind of all formally looking. So let's just go like this. And while we do some of the other things, I'm just gonna set this aside to dry. So I'm gonna do both sides so they match and I'm gonna do them in opposite corners. So this one, I'll go this way and this way. And then the other one, I'm gonna do this corner and this corner, just to bring your eye across the layout a little bit. So you can add as much ink or as little ink as you want. 
I just need, I think, just a little bit more. The good old spray pens. But you can use any sort of spray bottle. And if you've been using the Distress Oxides, then you probably have some sort of... Okay. I'm going to move my all-purpose mat out of the way. Okay. So... Then, you know what? Okay, so we're gonna do some coloring and stuff as promised. So I grabbed the Daisy Meadows scrapbooking stamp and thin cut, and we're going to do, I've got some pre-stamped flowers, but I have this one, this little stamp set that's just all the little dots, and I think I'm going to add that onto this background here. So I just have my all-purpose mat. And so I know lots of it's gonna get covered up, so I'm just gonna just add a few of the dots kind of in each of the corners. We're gonna see how long I can keep my window open here in my studio. I can hear, it's so beautiful. And today's the first day I've been able to crack my window open. So, okay, so that's kind of what I wanted there. Okay, so while those dry for a few minutes, let's talk about some coloring. So, I pre-stamped some of the things with the stamp and thin cut. Okay, I'm gonna move that out of my way. So I'm gonna talk about a little bit. Good morning, Lee. I'm gonna talk a little bit about peeper piercing because I actually had a question about that the other day from somebody. So I'm gonna show you how to paper piece just a little bit. So there's so many different ways to color this stamp set. So you can use just colored cardstock, right? So this is just smoothie stamped with um, intense black. This is fern. And then this is peach. And I stamped a few of those. And then I have white. And then I did the leaves fern on fern. And then this is peacock on glacier. And this is Peacock on Glacier 2, these two. And then I have some white pieces here we're going to play with. So I was just playing around, but this is the shimmer brush, the peach shimmer brush. And then this is the avocado shimmer brush. And they actually color really beautifully and super easy for these images if um, you don't want... Ah, oh, perfect. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you what I, how to do it, kind of. So I'm gonna grab a few more scraps in a couple seconds and I'll show you that too. Okay. So don't forget, if you want the sketch, just comment sketch and I'll add the link in after for the pages we're gonna do. Okay, so I did grab a few shimmer brushes and I'm gonna show you how to color with the shimmer brushes. So I have avocado, I have peach, and then I have grabbed my gold because I grab, I picked gold as my accent for all of these, for this layout. So I've got the peach here, right? I've got the cinnamon for the background. I have not, this is, I'm gonna be super honest. This is, I think the first time I've used the cinnamon since it was released in the new idea book and it's actually beautiful. So I have, like I said, cut up my little pieces here. So we're gonna assemble those together. And I did pick gold as my accent. So I have some, I pulled out gold shimmer trim. I have platinum stickles. I pulled out the Daisy Meadow dots because I love them. 
and that's what I have for gold here. Oh, and I did pull out embossing thread and some sequins. So we're going to do some coloring first here. So here are a few white pieces. And I'm just going to color first with the shimmer brushes. So here we go. So this is the smoothie, or no, it's peach, sorry. I don't think we have a smoothie. We have like 24 colors of shimmer brush, but I'm pretty sure there isn't a smoothie one. So this is super easy. It actually, they color really nicely, all the pigmented ones, and they add shimmer all at the same time, right? So this is super easy. Actually, maybe I'll grab Peacock for this butterfly. And I'll grab a couple of scraps to show you the paper piecing. Okay, so I also quite often, you guys know, like the messier look. So I wouldn't like be looking to fill it in perfectly. That's evergreen, I don't want that. Here is Peacock. So I just did the petals with the peach and then I'm just going to do the center with the gold. So that is one option for coloring. Okay, so I'm just gonna set this all aside. Then I have a butterfly here, and this one, sorry, I must have moved super quickly. Okay, this has a lot of color in it, so it's almost gonna be the same color as the black, so I might not want to do it everywhere, but just kind of pick a few spots And then it's funny because I know I was using this earlier and I must not have shook it up really well when I was using it the first time. I was painting actually wooden um, shapes with it and it had like not a lot of peacock in it and I'm thinking oh that's super weird. And then all of a sudden I must have squeezed really hard. So make sure that you shake up your shimmer brushes because with the, I'll take this off and I'll show you. So in here is the shimmer and the color. This one seems to be uh, quite a bit almost done. But so you wanna make sure to shake it up so you have color when you're coloring with them, if that makes sense. Because it's color and liquid. So. Okay, so this is then another option for coloring and actually like he looks like a hot mess on camera but it's actually really pretty in real life he's just kind of a little bit shimmery okay so that's an option um just stamping on colored cardstock is an option and then there's some marker options so we're going to color a little bit with our tri blends so let's do We'll do one of the big flowers. So always remember, I'm just gonna move these over to the side. You wanna have something under your tri blends if you're gonna color with them because they're gonna come, they're gonna go through the cardstock, the alcohol. So this is what I've grabbed. So I have coral, I have alpine green, dull green gold yellow and citrus and then I have my blender always handy if I need it. So I'm going to start with the center of the flower 
and I'm gonna go with my citrus first and so I'm just trying to read which end is the light end I'm going to go light once and just over it quickly again and then with my gold yellow my light again okay and then I'm just going to leave it so that it has a chance to mix and then I'll decide if I need to add more right now I think I'm going to do the little berry things the yellow color too so I'm going to go over it once with the light and then I'm going to go back over it again the same as the middle and then I'm going to add my gold yellow again and it'll keep reacting so I'm going to leave it right also once it's dry you could add the clear shimmer brush over top of it you could add a little bit of the gold shimmer over top of it if you wanted it to sparkle a little bit you could add the stickles in there into the center that would be beautiful okay so I'm going to do my flower first I think and I'm just going to use just the coral and I'm gonna go with the middle and we'll see how that is. So just remember too that with alcohol markers, it does, um, they do spread as they saturate. So go a little bit inside where you want and kind of expand out. Also, I did stamp these images a while ago because you don't want them to be wet when you're playing with alcohol markers so I'm gonna go in once and then I'm gonna add a little bit into the middle where I feel it should be darker okay I thought we would just do a little bit of this well the um, background's dry and then I will go back and we'll assemble the pages and then maybe I'll have to like color or put together a few more images we'll ha just have to see because I haven't actually decided because I don't know what it's going to look like but I thought I would just stamp a whole pile of stuff to play with and just do a little bit of coloring different kinds of coloring and see what I like. I know that this stamp set and thin cuts was one of everybody's favorite from this new idea book. Daisy Meadow is uh, tons of fun. So this is a very versatile, I think, stamp set. You could color them to match kind of anything, right? Just because I happen to be um, doing the Daisy Meadow background, like the, using the collection for this layout, I thought it would stay within the color palette, but you could totally um, go all over the place with the different colors of flowers. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a little bit in the middle and on these darker lines. Okay, and like I said, so, so many options. Okay, so this is super pretty. Okay, and it's just, it'll keep blending for a few minutes. Okay, so then we're gonna do a set of leaves, and then I'm gonna talk about paper piercing, and then we will put, um, start putting the layout together. Okay, so I'm gonna do my leaves now, and I'm gonna go with the Alpine Green, the light, to start. Now I know that I don't want like this bright or green, so we're going to mute it down with our next color. 
but this is just gives it a nice green base. Okay, and you can see I'm being very careful when I go in here because there's not a lot of room and I don't want the green to end up on my peach flower. So, there we go. Just because it will spread just a little bit. Okay, and so I'm gonna add my next layer while it's still wet, and I'm gonna go the dull green in the medium, and you can watch the color change right before your eyes as the colors are mixing. And don't forget, you don't have to just you don't have to just do it one time. Okay, I'm gonna show you the difference up close between the two flowers. It just adds so much more depth. Right, so I'm going to go one time. And then I'm going to go back again. Okay, and then this one. Okay, and I think I'm gonna go one more time. Okay, and you can see it's like a completely different color. And the two colors actually make it look more like a leaf. It's like, because a leaf is obviously not a single color. So there. Okay. So that's another option. And then, okay, so I had talked in a different class about paper piercing. And so I'm gonna just show you here how to actually do it. Just let me grab some scrap cardstock. I have a piece of fern and I have a piece of smoothie. So this one is peach, but we'll do them differently. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my stamp set, okay? And of course I forgot to wet my chamois, but that's okay. I'll clean up after. Okay, I have intense black because you guys just know I always just use intense black. Typically, I'm just not sure if this one is my one that has lots of ink or not, but we will see. Okay, so I'm going to add my image. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to paper piece it together. Oh, I should have got something for the middle, but that's okay. You guys will get the idea. So I will obviously want my leaves to be a different color than my flower. So we're gonna make a smoothie flower and fern leaves. So really, you just, for the leaves, you just need to ink up just the leaf part and stamp it. So you're gonna see, I'm going to just ink up, you can stamp the whole thing, but I don't really need that part, right? So. If I was gonna use this piece of fern, I could probably do several sets of leaves on here if that was the look that I wanted to go for. So, you know what guys, I'm gonna to have to at least I would normally clean it with my chamois. Okay, so really, I only need that part, right? So, 
I'm just stamping that part. And so if I knew that this was kind of something that I was gonna make a few of, I would do them, right? Keep going. So then with the flower, I only really need the flower part, right? So this is just one more way to kind of expand um, your stamps. So let's do a couple smoothie. Okay, good enough. Gonna, my lid on my ink. I'm gonna set this back here so I remember to clean it after. Okay, so then you could do a couple different things. If you wanted your background not to be white, you could stamp this on a different color. So then what I would do is just simply take my pieces that I'm gonna paper piece, trim them out so I can fussy cut them out. And then I'm gonna actually leave this flower piece here at the bottom and I'm just gonna fussy cut around it. So like this. So on this, when you're fussy cutting and paper piecing, you know how when you're um, fussy cutting, you leave like a white border so that it's more forgiving so when you're paper piercing, you kind of don't want that white border because we're going to now attach it to the background. So you want to kind of go right on your line. And this stamp set is actually a super easy one to do that. Okay, so then all you're going to do is glue it back together like a little puzzle. Good morning, Gay. So there, that's together, right? It looks like it's colored, but it's actually just stamped on the cardstock, right? And then you can just quickly fussy cut out your smoothie flower. The same way. I'm trying to hold it up so you guys can actually see how close I'm going on this one. And try not to mess at the same time. Also, like when you're fussy cutting, it's also better to have less paper in front of you than um, more. So you saw I just took a chunk off because I knew I didn't need that and it was just kind of getting in my way. And if you watch, I am moving the paper, not really the scissors, or at least I'm trying not to. I'm doing it at kind of a funny angle, but you kind of get the idea. And I'm not going quickly, right? It's not something that I'm in a race to do. This is actually super therapeutic to just sit and either fussy cut or sit and color. So this is a super good example of that. The other thing that I did is the gnomes, the kitchen gnomes from the new idea book they work perfectly for this there's lots and lots of things you could do with paper piercing i think that just sometimes we forget about it because of like cricket and um, markers and all of the other things okay and so then i'm just going to add it to my background like that so that is kind of the concept of how you do it if you don't want that white border, you can also trim it out so that you don't have it. I just had thin cut this already. So for this one, for example, then, oh, I love fussy cutting. So for this one, I might just 
right? Take the, I have platinum stickles and add that onto the berries and maybe to the center of the flower. Oh, you're very welcome. It's kind of like who, like I used to love to play with paper dolls and that's, this is totally what it reminds me of is playing with like the old paper dolls. So the stickles will dry and right now it's covering up like the stamens in the middle, but when it dries, it'll dry flat and you'll be able to see that through the middle. So that's like, we've done like three different options for coloring. So let's get to putting our layouts together. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys watched the escapades of my doodle, Emmy. She's quite often, I'm just gonna put this behind me. Everybody remind me that that's what I did with it. Um, she's quite entertaining in my office. But it's weird because in the winter, she kind of has vacated my office. I'm assuming she's going somewhere warmer to sleep or something, but now that the window is open and it's spring, she has plopped herself back into my office. Okay, so here we go. We will do, right, don't forget, if you want the sketch, just type sketch and I'll, I'll send the link to you in the comments after. So we're gonna do the left-hand side first. Left-hand side, yeah, okay. And these are the pictures I have for this one. So, oh, this is Emmy, there we go. Smelling my flowers. This is for the right-hand side page. And here she is again. So she's like literally right behind me on the floor. So she was intrigued by the little, um, this was a uh, special last year for Easter, the little wood bunnies. And I covered them in paper and then I made really, I made real pom-poms for their bums out of wool and it was hanging and she was very intrigued by those little, cause it's up on the couch, like it's quite high. She had to jump up on the couch to check them out. It was very funny. Okay, so here we go. I have the left hand page first. And so this is the layout we're doing right here, but we're gonna switch it to Daisy Meadow. So like I said, I picked cinnamon for the background and tape runner. And then I have the pieces that we did at the beginning. So I'm going to, so I have a left and a right and I think I'm actually gonna do it exactly like that. So it's dry now. So we just have a little bit of the peach ink and a little bit of the stamping. Like I said, most of it gets covered up, but I thought we would just add that little detail just to not make it white. If you wanted, you can cut out the middle of the background so that you have it. So I'm just doing, there's like a quarter of an inch border everywhere, okay. And then how pretty is this piece? So this, I love, this is I think my favorite piece. It's got like the peacock on the back. But so we have this piece and in the other, in this, in, in this together one we did, I did like the little dots. So I'm just gonna put this right here so you guys can see the difference in the two. So we're not gonna use the sticker sheet in this one. That's where we're gonna add like the flowers and the butterfly. Okay, and so I think I might add my title after when I know my spacing. So I'm just, I think we're gonna go about So this is an eight and a half by 11. 
and I decided to play around with this because I think that not lots of people have been playing with this size and it's actually super fun and you can intersperse it with your regular layouts or you could just make it you could make the whole layout bigger and um, just use it on 12 by 12. So I don't know this one's pretty too this the multicolored plaid. So I'm going to add that and then okay I think I picked this for my across piece and this peacock piece is going to go up and down. So like I said it's the back of this really pretty floral and so on this one I used oh I'm going to I put the shimmer trim on top of the band we're going to put across. So I have the sun dance and then a zip strip. So if you didn't want to use the zip strip too, you could just cut a piece of paper that width or you could use shimmer trim there instead. So let's just see about where There we go. So on this one, I put Emmy in a little flip flap there because um, she was stealing toilet paper. So I was gonna, I wanted to add the, the bathroom photo under there. So somebody asked me about altering the page protector after. So I'm gonna do that a different day, but, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so I printed my photos. Whoever saw, there were lots of pictures of my photos down here. So they're both three by fours. And um, I matted them with Desert Rose, right? That's the name. It's not Desert Sand. <laughs> it's Desert Rose, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so I think... I'm going to move these down because I think I want to do a longer title, but I just, I'm going to do my title, like I said, after, and then I'll post a fixture once I decide on my title, but I want to leave myself some more room for my title up there. So I'm just pushing my photos down a little bit more. I think I want to do doggone cute, but I think that I need to do that in two rows. So, these colors all um, make her fur look a very beautiful. She's kind of, she's like red. So, so I think like I want to do doggone and then cute here. So, okay, so then I'm going to use a gold shimmer trim and my scissors. I'm sure they're like right in front of me, but of course I can't see them. So, and I'm just going to trim them off on an angle. And I showed you guys this trick before, but I'm just gonna, I'll do it again. I've just added a little bit of adhesive down onto my mat, but normally don't do it on your mat because you'll everything will get stuck. I just do it on the edge of my table, and then when I'm done, I um, you just roll it off. But it makes it easy to pull the shimmer trim off the backing. See how easy that is? Okay. So there we go. Okay. Oh, I like that. And see, like you would never really know that they're exactly the same and we haven't even added anything onto it yet. Okay, so let's put together the right side because then we can decide on how, because I think that like when they're in my album, right, they would sit like this. 
so I'm going to balance the um, embellishment. Okay, so this is my other side. It is a super neat trick, and it's because the new, I think that they must have a new supplier for the shimmer trim because it is actually easier than it was, but before it was even harder. So yes, when I'm doing like a lot of it, I'll just put it right on the edge of my desk. And um, like if I'm creating a workshop, for example, and I'm using shimmer trim on it, I know there's gonna be shimmer trim on all my layouts, right? So I'll just run a long strip along the edge of my desk. And then I just, it's funny, cause at the end then there's just like a long strip of the clear plastic pieces hanging off my desk. And Emmy likes, it's right beside Emmy's chair, which is beside my desk. And she likes to sit and play with it because it's it also makes just a little bit of noise. Okay, so I'm just adding the other background that we created, right? And so when I look, this one goes this way. So I want this one. Like this. Okay, because I want to be able to see, you can see there's more room over here and up here, right? So that's where I want that little detail that I added. Okay, so for this side, you can see this element is kind of like right in the middle. So that's where I'm gonna start. It's kind of, I'm gonna place it where I think is my middle. Well, I know where my middle is, right? Because you can see it on my mat, right? So it's right here. And then I have my two sides. And so for this one, I want the matching one on the inside. So this one, it's not, right? It's opposite. But this one is a bolder print and it's really noticeable. So I want them to be the same. So it kind of draws it from one side of the page to the other. Because really the pages have nothing to do with each other, but they'll sit side by side. So like I said, this is Emmy goofing around. And then my other pictures, I don't know if I showed you these, but this is Easter weekend last year. So we had a Zoom Easter. And then this is my goofy boys who would kill me if they saw that I was sharing this photo. But this is like, we're playing that my son got um, like a Nintendo Switch. So we played some dance dance game because everybody was so bored and had had enough of hanging out with each other. So they're not the typical my daughter was super excited to play the dance dance game because she played it when she was like younger and she was always a dancer, right? So, okay, so I kind of just put them where I want them and right, so I've got these two pieces anchored in the middle. This is the same and then my outside pieces are the same. And like I said, it's completely different patterning than the other layout. So I think this series is going to be fun. You guys could end up with like a little album at the end. I thought that um, anybody that was having trouble um, documenting the pandemic, this would be a nice little size. Like I totally don't have an issue with eight and a half by 11. I told you guys before that um, that's actually how I started scrapbooking. So I like this size, but I think that lots of people, um, I'm glad. And it's, it's quicker, like let's face it, right? So um, my kids are getting older, right? So I'm taking less photos. So I'm totally okay with just having a couple of pictures for an event. And this is kind of a nice way to um, 
scrapbook them. Okay, so we're gonna go like this and I matted my photos differently. So this one is the same as this side, but this I put um, a glaze, oh wait, I have to do my cross piece. Um, and then we will do the shimmer trim on top. Well, it doesn't really matter because it's kind of covered up. So let's add this piece first. And I just wanna make sure, because I know that they're gonna go beside each other, I wanna make sure that I'm level. So I'm just putting it beside. There we go. And I just, I don't know. Okay, while I, while I put the shimmer trim on, I'll try and decide which way I want my photos. Okay, same thing. I'm going to add it here. There we go. Okay, same thing. I'm just going to push it down on the adhesive. comes right off the backing. Okay. You know what, I think I'm gonna put the big photo at the bottom. No, I'm gonna put the big photo at the top. Okay, so I'm gonna add my photo now. I'm just trying to make sure I don't have any more pieces sitting on my desk that I've forgotten to add. Because this happened first, I don't know. It's just silly probably, but. And then I also like it because these three are matted kind of in a triangle together. Okay, so I do, I'm gonna do, so just like I did on the other one, I'm gonna do a little strip journaling. So I pre-cut a strip, but I didn't cut it down. And I think for this one, I'm going to add it on the desert rose. So no, this is not cinnamon. So the other ones were two and a half. So let me just see if we can fit two and three quarters in here or not. I'm trying not to step on Emmy right behind me. Okay. So I just cut three uh, half inch strips because that is the the way my natural handwriting writes. It fits in that space. If you need a skinnier space, you can go down, or if you need a fat, like a wider space, you can go up. That's just kind of naturally how uh, my handwriting goes. Okay, so let's see. If we go two and three quarters, let's see if it'll fit. Yeah, okay, so one, two, it just fits. Oh, you know what? I think I want to do one, I'm gonna do one with a glacier and make it just a little bit longer. But I don't see a scrap here. I should always probably pull out of my mystery cupboard my coordinating cardstocks before I start, but 
at least it's not far. And I wonder if, so this is three inches. And I like that it just touches the border. So I'm gonna leave those and we're not gonna glue them down just yet. So then I'm gonna put on the inside, I need two two and a halfs for these ones. And a two and three quarters. I might have to cut it down depending on how we decide to embellish this. So there. Oh, look at that, it's almost the perfect size. A little strip that I got. Okay, so let's now pull back in these pieces and we'll see what we're going to make here. Okay, so I know I want a big flower over here with Emmy and I'm trying not to because you guys know me. This has stickles on it and I will for sure stick my hand in it at some point. Look at that, I did it already, okay. Cause it's still wet. I should probably set it aside, but okay, I think we're gonna go like that. I'm gonna put something up here, but I'm not going to glue this down until I decide on my title. But I'm just going to so I'm just kind of roughing it in. So this cluster, I'm probably not gonna glue down tonight, today. Because it might change. Okay, so then I have one that we colored with the shimmer brush. Add that there. And I want some of the glacier in here. And then I have just regular fern leaves. So we're gonna go like that. Something along these lines. Okay, and this side I want to have less embellishment. I'm just gonna set this up here because it's going to have the journaling on it but let's do and I actually think I might go like this I might put one below and hang it uh, touch it to the picture and do one right here and the other two above like this. And let's fill in. So I need some of the glacier over here. So like I said, I just really like I had no plan well, I had kind of like a plan, do you know what I mean? Like I was used, I knew I was gonna use the sketch, but for these, I just kind of stamped a whole pile of stuff. And no, I'm not gonna put this one down here. I'm going to. They're all gonna go above, I decided. this. 
Okay, so these I'm gonna glue down because I'm gonna tuck leaves and stuff in. So I'm just going to do my little outline. So like I said, these strips are all just half inch strips and then the colored cardstock is um, three quarters of an inch. I keep burying my tape runner underneath my stuff here. Okay. And this one, I kind of want them a little bit tight. I don't, I, I've got two Versamats and I'm trying not to dump one. I normally work with them side by side, but I don't normally have stuff covering that whole one like that. Okay. Last one. This is probably not the most exciting part to watch, but There we go. And I'm trying to keep a uh, look out of the corner of my eye so I don't actually put the one page on top of the other page with the stickles. Okay. So there we go. Now I'm going to add this right to flat and this one I'm going to pop up on 3D foam tape so then I could tuck under other things underneath so I'm putting this one on the thickest and then I can use if I want thin and um, flat so just adhesive flat and everything just kind of tucks in. I am going to also add into this cluster. Okay, so that I'm just gonna add a little bit of embellishing thread. I know some people do not like this and that's totally okay nobody has to use it I love it I love it just it's so nice and thin and it just kind of gives another little um, texture so I just take out my glue dots those happen to be big glue dots so we'll work with those I just wrap it around my fingers and okay I like a uh, a tidy messy embellishing thread so it's in a neat little pile there I've got a glue dot I'm laying it on my glue dot and then I can just fold my glue dot over and all my thread is encased in there and then I can just tuck it wherever I want to So here is where I'm going to add this. Glue dots are very sticky. So just remember that. Okay, so then I want, I think, a little bit of green here. So I'm just going to add that flat. So I've got lots of different layers here. 
and textures. And uh, yeah, I think I'll add this one flat also. Okay, and then I have this one, which is, so this is the shimmer brushed one. And I'm gonna go right there with a little bit of 3D foam. And I'm just, okay, so I should glue this down. So I wanna be able to tuck in beside. Okay guys, we're getting there. So, so now I like the yellow kind of goes with the yellow down here. And then, actually I'm gonna add this up here. And it kind of just goes right to the very edge. I'm gonna add a little bit of the fern in here. Okay, so there we go. This side, I'm just going to, I think, add some dots on this side and this side will be done. And I can move it out of the way and then play with the side that's got the stickles on it. Okay, so I want a big one right here. So these are the Daisy Meadow dots. I was so excited when I saw the idea book and we got some dots back. So we have two sets right now. So there's, cause you all know I love the black and white dots. I use them all the time. So we have the ones for Daisy Meadow and then there's the in this together dots too, which are more, um, they look more like Skittles than these ones. The end this together. Oh, I did. I used them on this. So you can see they're different coloring, right? Than this one. So this is the page from last week and this is the page from this week. So I think maybe I should add something up here. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll do this like that. So I'm going to put that on some 3D thin foam tape and I'm going to add stickles on top of it. But don't let me put anything on top of it. So because it'll still have to dry. Like this with the shimmer brush is all just dry. But I'm going to add a center to it with um, the gold, the platinum stickles. So here, put this, and then, because I have stickles over here, so I want it over here somewhere. So now, like I said too, when it dries, it's kind of just you can see the. You can still see your stamping. I'm gonna move this out of the way. And I'm just going to add the stickles just on a few of these lines here. Just very thin. And they dry super, um, it will flatten up <coughs> when it dries. So maybe I'll add it here too. This has to be my last phase on this side so that, cause I will inevitably put something in it. Okay, so I'm gonna move this over here. There we go. And let's finish up this side. Okay, so No, uh, well, maybe. I think maybe I'll add the darker flower in there and add this lighter one into the background down here. 
There we go. That I like. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to somehow very carefully put 3D foam tape on this piece right here. And then everything else is going to go underneath. I'll just pull this back so you guys can actually still see it. Okay, I don't need my pen. I don't need sequins. We're not doing sequins. I decided we don't need this. I can move my markers out of the way. There we go. Now I can get both of them in the frame. Oh, I'm glad. See, and these are my voice photos, so. I still have something underneath this for some mat that okay that was making it crooked okay we can get both on and I'm gonna try not to put my hand in my stickles there we go okay so we will just oh I also have this one oh maybe I'll put it at the top so I have the one leaf that I colored with my shimmer brush. So I'm just gonna tuck it in at the top here, I think. There we go, like that. Okay, so this one I'm going to put on 3D foam tape. This is one that is just colored with the shimmer brush. This one is going to be flat, so I'll tuck this one in first. Right here. Okay, so I'm going to do this up in the air. This is the one that we paper pieced and has the stickles on it already. So I'm just gonna do thin 3D foam tape on it. And I'll do it up in the air so I don't put it down on my project. Okay. So I don't know if anybody noticed the title, but it does say eight and a half by 11 sketch number one. So you can be assured we're gonna do some more of this because I really actually quite enjoyed this. So this one has the thin 3D foam tape. So there will be more sketches to come. I'm just gonna tuck this one in there these leaves. Do I have another? I think I might go like this. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, so that's stuck down. This has thick. Oh, you know what guys we need here? Is I need some embellishing thread. Okay, so let's just do that quickly. I've just cut off a piece and I just roll it around my fingers and then I have my glue dots and I'm just going to lay it down on a glue dot and like I said these are it they just happen to be the big ones because that's what I grab and I'm just going to fold that over that little bundle and I'm going to put it down here I think just like that and you can see I'm trying not to touch the stickles 
Okay, there's that side. So we just have to do this cluster at the top and put our dots on and that is done. And like I said, I'll take pictures once I figure out how I'm gonna put my title on here. But you get the idea. I have to kind of decide if I'm gonna stamp my title. I thought I might um, thin cut my title. I'm just not 100% certain yet. I'm going to do this one on thin foam tape. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of thick foam tape just behind the butterfly. And I'm going to do a very small little bundle of embellishing thread behind that one. And it's super easy to adjust the size, right? Depending on the amount of fingers you wrap it around or how tightly you wrap it around, right? So if I know that I want it smaller, I can wrap it around less of my fingers. So there is a smaller bundle right but I still need my glue dot there like that and I'm just gonna fold it over like so and I'll tuck it in there we're gonna add some stickles onto that flower I'm gonna add just a little bit of thick foam tape behind the wings of the butterfly up there so that they'll stick off higher than the other parts, right? So you can see it's just at this part. And then I can add just some regular adhesive on here. And it's just going to, that will then touch this. And then my butterfly sticks up a little bit. Okay, so, okay, we're getting there. I can put my adhesive away. We're gonna add our dots and then our shimmer trim, not our shimmer trim, our stickles, and then I'm done. Okay, so up there at the top, I want okay so I didn't put any yellow um, dots over here so I'm not gonna put any over here either so I'm gonna leave the yellow off but I did do the peacock and I'm gonna do the glacier over here like that and I think I'm gonna just do a medium size peacock up here. And then this peach, a small one. Up there. And then I want peacock in here. with the medium right down here. Oh, I dropped it. And then this little smoothie I want right here. Okay, so let's add our stickles. Okay, you guys, so I have to take this off. So this is just that piece of tape runner that I put up there because now I'm gonna get stuff stuck in there. Okay, so I'm going to move this out of the way because we don't need this anymore. That side's done. We'll add our stickles on here. I could maybe even add some shimmer brush to 
So I'm just doing super thin on those veins of those um, flowers. And actually, maybe I'll do it. right here too. And then here on this one. Okay, I got too much there. See, just wipes right off. I just missed it slightly. So I'm gonna add a little bit into the middle and then just on my lines Yeah, I totally, because I knew that I was going to do the sketch, I just went from the sketch, and I just had a pile of stuff. I knew the stuff I kind of wanted to put on here, and so I just picked the same embellishing spots, but like they look completely different, even though they're from exactly the same sketch. Okay. And I'm gonna tell you that this might look funny on camera, these little, but they actually, when they dry, look super awesome. Cause it's just a little um, bit of glitter. Okay, so I think we're getting there guys. I am going to add just a little bit. You can see I'm trying to not get in my own way okay I think we're going to call this one done, except for my title. But there we go. Oh, I need to move myself out of the way. I'm going to put my, take myself off the screen, though. And we'll look at... Uh, no. There we go. Okay, so remember, if you want the sketch, just comment sketch and I'll come back and I'll throw the link into the sketch after. But there we go. So this is what we did today. And I will be taking pictures so you guys will be able to see the pictures up close and once everything's dry. And I think they turned out really cute. Okay, so this was the one we did today with Daisy Meadows. Now, remember when I did it last week, this was exactly what I did. It's exactly the same, but look how different they look. Like, it's just crazy the difference, but they're exactly the same. And like I said, the, um, the eight and a half by 11 is super easy to intersperse with other sizes. It looks great in the middle of pages, so I'll show you. Let's just pretend. Okay, so here's some Daisy Meadows. We'll put it in the middle of here. So this is one of the layouts from like my workshop. So it goes this way. So let's pretend this was sitting in your album like this. You'd have to do one for each on the other side, right? But you can, you guys, I got stuff flying all over the place. So if you had this layout like this, right? And so these are two 12 by 12s, then you can lay in an eight and a half by 11 page protector right inside. And they look awesome together. Or you could do them like this, right, back to back. And it flips. I don't want to lay it down, though, because like I said, it's still wet. Okay, so I think that's it. That's what I've got for you guys today. So I will come back in, and I'll drop the little link for the sketch. 
and I'll get working on another sketch. So this is what I've got for you guys this week. I have a idea of something fun for next week. That's not going to be this. Well, we'll probably we might come back to this, but um, I have a different live I'll do before that. But so, Daisy Meadows versus in this together. They look completely different. I love that. And so, I hope you guys have a great weekend. And we will talk to you later. Happy Friday, everyone. Bye bye.